you know, A24 is really killing it with the titles this year because they're all titles that, like, if you just set it without any context, people will be like, what? Like, I'm going to go watch everything everywhere all at once. Good luck with that. I'm going to go watch men. You do you. I'm going to go watch bodies, bodies, bodies. I have some questions now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, our movie in the middle is Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is A24's newest murder mystery about a group of quote-unquote friends who turn on each other at the sight of a dead body. It stars Maria Bakalova, Amanda Stenberg, Rachel Sennett, Chase Suey Wonders, Mayahala Harold, Pete Davidson, and Lee Pace. Sorry if I butchered any of those names. No, you're not crazy. There is a small buzzing in the back of this video. My brother's weed whacking. Deal with it. So this is the kind of murderer mystery that's based off the games like Murder in the Dark or Mafia or Among Us. But this one definitely has that A24 feel to it, not only being a little smaller, but a little bit weirder and definitely has some commentary on the stuff. So for the highs, the cast was really good. It was a mix of people that I did know and a lot of people that I didn't know. And um, a lot of them that I did know, I was like, I've only ever really seen them in one or two things. Or just, you know, Pete Davidson. I don't know. He's, he's made a career off of being, like, just a gigantic bum in every single movie he's in. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't find it entertaining. Well, I just look like I fuck. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I look like I, I fuck. And that's the vibe I like to put out there. But Maria Bakalova, I did see her in uh, Borat's subsequent movie film. And then Lee Pace is obviously Ronin in Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as Thranduil in The Hobbits. But the others, I had no idea uh, who they were. They, they were new for me. Um, they might have been some other stuff, but I'm not sure. But they all were great because it was just enough people that you weren't sure quite who it was. But you also, like, once they got down to a certain point and more things had happened in the movie, you were kind of confused because you're like, wait a minute, I thought it, I had it, or I thought it might have been this, but now I'm confused because there's only, like, these people, and I, I don't want to say anything, but they did a really good job with the number in the cast and who they did cast because they all did a really good job of playing these characters, which, by the way, were very well written. This is a murder mystery, but like um, other murder mysteries, like Murder on the Orient Express, there is a fair amount of action, but it's mostly character-based and about the characters and the dialogue and things that get revealed. And the characters were really well written because they had to have so many layers and so many connections with all the other characters and all these like flashbacks that we don't really see, but we hear about and backstories and things that have happened in their past. We had to not only know these characters, like B, played by Maria Bakalova, she's the main character, we had to know them from the beginning, like she had to find out about all of them, but also more things were being revealed as the story went on, and it was a lot of deep stuff, it was a lot of like really messed up stuff, and they did a really good job, I think the writers, in terms of like fleshing out these characters to the point where there were all these motivations, there were all these interactions, and all these dynamics between every single character and, you know, any any pairing. So it made it really hard to try to pin down, I think it's this person, I think it's this person. But one thing that made this movie really good, and definitely an A24 movie, is there's a lot of commentary on these characters and how they act, specifically in, like, the sort of Gen Z way. Um, there's a lot of commentary on words that definitely should be used when appropriate, um, but are overused a lot. Things like gaslighting and, and toxic and woke, um, ally, and, you know, using, like, your sign, you know, like, uh, uh, like, astrology sign, like, you know, oh, I'm a Leo dating a Scorpio, whatever. I, I don't know. Is that, is that a good thing? I don't know. And also doing, like, those really cringy TikTok dances and just all the things that they did and said and acted the way that they, they were around each other that you're just like, please shut up. You're like... I watched it and was like, I hate my own generation sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. It was basically a boomer's worst nightmare in a movie. And the ending is really well done as well, just because it is shocking. I, I won't say in what way, but it is shocking. And it really makes you think about the whole movie leading up to it. And it, I think, very much enforces uh, that commentary, not only on the, on the Gen Z stuff, 
but specifically on this movie being about fake friends and friends who kind of turn on each other and were they ever really friends they had all these things that they were saying behind each other's back and, and all of that stuff that how it ends really emphasizes that uh that theme throughout the whole movie i really only have like nitpicks um they're just personal things that are like middle elements not even lows uh the one was just that it took a little bit to get started to get going once they got to the game that's when it really got good for me um and you know you had all like the the visual elements like the glow sticks and you know, like all these these cool colors and everything that that's when it got really good in terms of uh the, the story and pacing but before that it was like i've been saying a lot of really cringy things and i really didn't like any of these characters at the beginning you don't really love a lot of them at the end either <laughs> Um, but towards the beginning specifically, I was like, I really don't like any of these characters. Basically, you feel like Maria coming to this, this new group of people at this party. You don't know anybody. They're all really close with each other. And you're kind of the outsider. And they're all doing stuff that you're like, they're having fun, but I'm bored as hell. That's I got that vibe. And Maria Bakalova did a really good job with that vibe. But obviously, you're not supposed to like them. That is kind of the whole point of the movie is that they're cringy. And that she was part of the outside. So like... Also, the main character, B doesn't do a whole lot for most of the movie. She does some pretty crucial things towards the beginning um, and then right at the end. But there are, are some times where she doesn't do a whole lot. But in this, it's not really that crucial just because it is more of an ensemble thing. And she's kind of with the rest of the group for a long time. And it's sort of her watching them kind of have this therapy <laughs> with each other as they're sort of maybe going to kill each other. So I, I can understand why, you know, she didn't do as much because she's more of the outsider looking in. Um, and that's kind of her her role in the group as well as she's the one of the outsiders. So it's like, can we even trust her? Um, so, you know, it, 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 it was a little weird sometimes that she didn't do a whole lot, but like it wasn't really that big of a deal. So overall, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies was really fun. I think it was really well done and probably going to be one of the most underrated movies of this year because... It, once it really gets going, it doesn't stop. And the thing that really impressed me about this movie was, like I said, the characters and how fleshed out they were to the point where you could believe everything that was going on and all these twists and turns in how they acted, uh, things that were revealed. But it was really fun, really suspenseful, really well done. I'm going to give Bodies, Bodies, Bodies a 3.5 out of 4. Well, guys, let me know what you thought of Bodies, 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 and let me know what other A24 movies you've seen this year that you've really liked or that's coming up that you're really excited for, because I think they're kind of killing it this year. But, you know, like, aren't they always killing it? And as always, keep your hopes high, your sus low. And as always, keep your hopes high, your stress low, and movies right in the middle. I'll see you guys later.